right, it's Tuesday morning. This is episode, I've lost track. I think this is episode four. Um, so yesterday, Caleb was doing all kinds of insulation and then he put in all of this drywall and it looks like a totally different space. Look at this, it's awesome, it's giant, it's still really echoey, but this place is really cool. So today, the rest of this has to be finishing all this drywall. Now there is one thing I wanna show you over here and I wanna talk about one of the sponsors of this project that I'm so amazingly thankful for. So right here in this blocking, so centered under this light, so centered under this light, right over here, will be an air conditioner. So there will be a, a mini split. So a mini split, if you don't know, is it's a small uh, system that's basically able to do heat and cool. It should be really quiet. This is much better than those loud, clunky uh, hotel mini splits that you've heard. Because what's cool is the compressor is going to be out on the back side of the building. It should be quiet, it should be far away, it will not mess up videos. If you go back and look at videos of me from last summer, particularly like the Guild video, I am super sweaty because it's like 80 degrees in the basement <clears throat> and it's hot and in order to record with a microphone, I can't have the AC or a fan on. So between takes, I'm like putting my head into a fan to get unsweaty. So. Hopefully, thankfully, wonderfully, I won't have to deal with that this summer because I have a sponsor and it is Star Heating and Cooling here in Harrisonburg. They serve the Shenandoah Valley. They are old, wonderful friends and they are amazing at heating and cooling solutions. So if you need help with uh, heating, cooling, air conditioners, service, maintenance, if you, uh, because there is nothing worse than having a house that is too hot when it needs to be cool and nothing scarier than a house that is way too cold when it needs to be warm in the winter. Star Heating and Cooling, really helpful. Thank you so much for your support. Two people in particular connected with Star that are amazing old friends of mine. One is Spencer. Spencer owns the company. He and I went to high school together and just goofed off together so hilariously in math classes in high school. But it was, it's was it been so fun reconnecting with him over the course of this project. The other one is my friend Eric. Eric is an amazing guitar player. He was the first person I knew when I was in high school. I was in middle school, he was in high school, that played guitar and I wanted to be like him. Uh, he's gonna see this and that'll be funny and strange for him to hear. But he has just been a guitar hero in my hometown my whole life. I remember when he worked at, uh, there was a music shop that used to be in the mall and I plugged into a bass amp with a guitar and he was like, oh, hey, sorry, hey man, like, that's actually a bass amp, and I was so embarrassed, I just hung it up and I left. Um, but Eric and I have been good friends for a long time. So both of those guys, uh, you probably won't see Spencer, but you will see Eric when we do the installation. So right here is gonna be the mini split. And so basically, let me give you a general tour of what I'm thinking is gonna happen in here. So now that this looks more like a space. So the door is right here behind you. There's a back wall. In my mind, you're gonna come in, the back wall is gonna where I'm going to have a lot of storage, some shelves, uh, just general storage in there. When you come over here to this corner, I'm gonna build bigger guitar racks. And so these guitar racks will allow me to store, I'm hoping I can store 15 or so guitars uh, on racks. That's optimistic. So I'm gonna have to see how that goes. I, I know that I am not going to be able to put everything I need into this building right away probably ever, so a lot of stuff is still gonna stay in the basement. But in order for me to make space, I have to make space out here to move stuff so that in there I can paint and refinish and rework the basement. Uh, and once that is clean, tidy, dry, humidif dehumidified, all that, I can then come back uh, and put stuff in there. So anyway, so guitar storage over here. On this wall, there will be the air conditioner up here somewhere. And then underneath it, I wanna build, I wanna put a vertical cam and I wanna have a guitar workbench so that I can do more videos directly focused on how do you change pickups? How do you uh, set the intonation on a guitar? How do you set the action on an acoustic? All these um, kind of more techie videos that I've shied away from just because my space before wasn't that conducive to that kind of work. So that's one, super exciting. And um, so moving into the main money shot here. So back here is where I imagine, oh, let me bring you with me. So back here is where I imagine this will be the main angle now. And so when we get in here, I'll sit against this back wall. There will be stuff behind me. I'm gonna do a couple things. I'm going to add um, a paper roll. So I'll have a, a proper photography photo backdrop. 
so I can have just a gray background or a blue background or I can use my LED light and I can do whatever kind of I want to have a little more just clean space. But I also want to do some shelves and this is where I really need input. Let me know uh, so patrons get first and loudest voice in helping me design this back wall. So I kind of want to avoid the palette wood look. I feel like that's a little played, a little old. But I want to do something cool with some lights, some shelves to feature, you know, guitars and pedals and little pieces of gear and little cool curio kind of things. Any input you have on that would be super helpful and cool. So uh, back wall over here. Now moving, there's one more wall over here. So what I imagine, I'll show you. So there's the door. So when you come in, what I'm imagining is uh, over here is this space right here will be for video editing. Uh, because I spend a substantial amount of my time editing video, but I also want to get more into home recording. I've not really ever paid that much attention to home recording, and I need to change that. I need to get better at recording guitars. Um, not just... I basically have only learned how to do it for the sake of... Um, I basically have only learned how to record stuff for the sake of conveying how a guitar sounds in a room to people. I, I don't know why. I've just never been that interested in recording myself. But that's changing. I'm growing. So anyway, computer desk will be here. Um, and now I, I still have to figure out storage. So I think I'm going to look for like big toolboxes with lots of shelves so that I can store bits and bobs and pieces and parts underneath. Um, I'll probably do some shelving on the wall as well because I would love to have a... Ideally, from a YouTube content perspective, I would like to have three different angles in here. So I'd like to have... Angle number one, so if this is angle one, this is uh, the wider shot, the presentation, think like Anderton's style-ish, basically like guitars and stuff back behind you, and then I can talk about stuff I can present. Now if I can have feature number two be over here, where all of a sudden I'm working, I've got a guitar bench behind me, uh, and I can do a vertical shot where I can show the top down of a guitar being worked on. This is a cool, techie, more personal, um, more intimate type shot. And so we just look a lot different. So ideally, shot number two. And then shot number three, if I can come over here, 180, and I have my computer behind me, some monitors behind me, shelves with camera lenses. This is more of the tutorial educational shot. Yeah, that's, that is the way that I've worked through to how to make the absolute most out of a small space. So this space is basically 10 feet wide by about 18 feet long. And um, I have to work really hard to make sure that it works for me. Now I know this space is going to fill up right away. Um, and I thankfully I have more space. Um, I'm not, you know, if it was just this and it's out in the middle of nowhere, that would be a problem. So... Um, thankfully I'll still have the basement that I'll get to clean and put a bunch of stuff in there and it will still be safe enough. Um, and then speaking of safety, the other question that I keep getting asked is what's my plan for security and locking this place down? Now, thankfully we live in a really safe community. We live, uh, it's behind two good fences, um, to get to this. It's right by our house. We already have floodlights and security lights around. And so I, I'm not concerned at all. That's why we kind of undertook this project because it doesn't stress me out. It doesn't psych me out um, to have stuff outside of my house because it's so close. It's 15 feet from the house and there are floodlights and all that stuff. Now with that, we're also going to add. So I'm looking into either a uh, either a ring doorbell or some security cameras. I'm, you know, I was poking around at Costco last night and starting to kind of think through, okay, well, how do I actually see what's going on in it, around it? So I'll probably do something like that. Um, but yeah, so that's that's the general plan. So that's about it for this video. So there's going to be some more time lapse for more montage of finishing the drywall. I think the drywall on the ceiling is coming in today too, which is going to be awesome and crazy. So thanks for watching. I'm Jeremy. And uh, normally I'm the guitar hunter. This was more about guitars. Still didn't see a guitar in this video. But um, thanks for watching this video. If you're new to this kind of, if you're new to this channel and you're just here for the renovation details, I hope that this information was helpful. Um, if you like guitars, if you think that friendship and music are the way, this channel is probably for you. You might just not play guitar yet. So hang around, subscribe, uh, drop a comment down below if there's anything that really uh, stuck out to you or if anything you think I'm missing. So thanks for watching. I'll see y'all later. Even when the down even when the light seems like it's fading even when your heart aches feels like it's gonna break that's when
we've jumped ahead a little bit. It got really rainy, I got really busy. I had a couple videos that I had to make, so I missed the end of patching in this part of the ceiling. Caleb did an amazing job. Check out his Instagram, uh, New Beginnings Construction. It's, the link is in the description below. He's done such a good job. If you're in the valley, um, he's an old dear friend. I trust him uh, immensely. And so he's just doing a great job. Now, he's also done some mudding. He's cutting in the corners now with mud like back here. And this is a really uh, time consuming and tedious part of the process. So I've backed off filming a little bit to give him a little more space. It's also rainy. And so anyway, all of that to say, this is the end of this video. So thanks so much for watching. I'm Jeremy, I'm the Guitar Hunter. Uh, if you believe that the world is a better place with music and friendship, check out subscribing. If you wanna support the channel, become a patron. You get to see these videos a couple days early. I am so thankful for Caleb and all of his hard work and Spencer and Eric and all of the work that is to come so that this space is just a really beautiful, cool, helpful space to make guitar YouTube videos. So anyway, I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeremy.